Hey guys, John Lyons from Bulldog Design here. I'm going to show you real quick how to take uh, to take your a blog post, uh, post it onto the blog, and then uh, post it across your social media channels to your Twitter and to your Facebook accounts. So you'll see right here is your blog in its uh, its current state. When you do log in, the first page that you'll go to is is this dashboard right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to click under posts it's not already open, and add new. And you'll be presented with what looks like a pretty much just a word processor right here. Um, this little button right here, this could be a little bit tricky for you. If, you're, um, if your toolbar looks like this and you don't have any of the other formatting options, just click that and that'll drop down real quick with some of the other uh, formatting options for you. So I've copied uh, some text from your existing website I'm just going to paste it right into uh, the body right here. Okay, so this is something about smog alerts, uh, and here's the title here. So I'm just going to grab that out of there and then paste it into the title. So let's get rid of that space right there, and you'll see right here. This is called a permalink. This little thing right here. You'll see that it's filled in with the title of the uh, of the blog post right here. And this will be good for search engines. So uh, if somebody's Googling uh, smog alert or any of these other search terms, this, this blog post will come up. Um, so there's the text right there. Uh, it's very easy to format uh, what to do in here in alert. I'm just going to bold all of these little sections right there. Okay, uh, now this is important uh, for how it appears on the home page. This is definitely going to be environmental. And if you want it to appear, let me just switch back to the blog, up in this little feature area, you want to click this box here called Featured. Each of these categories correspond to your Twitter accounts. It doesn't automatically publish to your Twitter uh, account, but uh, at least the headings will be in line with um, with what people are seeing in Twitter. So I've clicked those two, um, and I'm going to click the featured, even though it's winter time right now. Uh, we don't have a lot of smog days right now, but at least I'll be able to demonstrate how that works. Uh, so I've clicked those two. Now the photo, it's uh, it's important here um, to set the feature image, and that's exactly. What, uh, what's going to happen there. So you select the file and you would browse to somewhere on your computer. Um, I've got a little library going of some of your stock photography. I've got that file already ready. So I'm just going to click open. The file will upload automatically into the uh, onto the server. And you'll see there's the file right there. And make sure you select use as featured image. Don't hit insert into post. Use use as featured image. Okay. Save the changes. Once that's saved, you can just click this little X out to close the box. And one way to uh, to show and verify that it is indeed a feature image, it'll just fill this box right here. Okay. So that's that. And if you want to publish it right away. Click this button called Publish. If you want another set of eyes to look at it, uh, to, to maybe approve it before it goes out, hit this little button, Save Draft. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and publish that. Okay. And as we go back to the blog, uh, I'll just refresh. And there it is. The image automatically resizes to um, the proper size to to fit the feature banner, as well as the proper size to fit here in the recent posts. And then again, under the categories, uh, it resizes again there. If we click that, it'll bring it up, and you'll see that it's automatically resized for that. Okay, That looks like it could be the 401 in August, right? OK, so now we're going to take this post, and we're going to put it out onto your social media channels. 
It's really simple. Just select the URL, the full URL. You can triple click it and then hit copy. Edit, copy. Now you're going to flick over to your Hootsuite dashboard. You can do this right in Twitter if you'd like or right from your Facebook page. Uh, for those of you who are using the Hootsuite dashboard, uh, uh, this is what you're going to do. So you'll be presented here with, uh, uh, with your dashboard, all four of your Twitter feeds. And you can kind of you can select each one of the tabs if you want to see what's going on in each of the feeds. Okay. So uh, we're going to compose this new message. So we're just going to click in there. The first thing we're going to do is paste that URL right into this little spot right here shrink it. You'll see that that URL is quite long. Twitter is limited to 140 characters. So what it'll do is it'll shrink it down to something a little bit more manageable. And the other benefit is you could then also track how many times this, um, this link is being clicked. Okay. And the title is uh, Protecting Yourself on Smuggler Days. I'll just copy and paste that in to save myself some typing. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much what your post is going to look like. Here are the four buttons for each of your Twitter feeds, and the more, most appropriate uh, Twitter channel for this is probably the environmental feed. So we're just going to click that, and your Facebook feed. Okay. It takes a minute to generate the preview. That's what it looks like. If you don't like that preview that's showing up right there, you can kind of mouse through uh, how many uh, thumbnails are there. That one does look good. Just take an extra moment to verify that you are publishing it to the right channel. And you can publish to all four at once if you want, plus your Facebook. Um, it's probably the best um, to always publish to Facebook and then one or two or three or four of the channels, however you want. Okay, and then if you hit send now, that will um, post that automatically. So if we look at the environmental Twitter feed right here, you'll see that it's right there. And then if we go to your Facebook page, let's see, I'm just gonna find that. Let's go to the wall. There it is right there. And it uh, only took a few seconds to post. Alrighty, so there you have it. Uh, easy posting from blog to Facebook to Twitter, all in uh, probably about three or four minutes. If you have any questions, just give us a holler. Uh, otherwise, uh, check back here for more of the tutorials. Thank you.